good evening everyone welcome to mining devs uh please share the meeting link with the, uh, with some of your colleagues if there is somebody who's interested to join us here to learn more about blockchain uh they should be here and we'll get started in in a couple of minutes to share the meeting link with your friends uh and maybe in a couple of minutes uh, we'll take up the whole section and we'll start from uh some of the basics and then we'll move forward thank you also uh, in the meanwhile if you guys have any questions that you would like answered please type them in the chat box so that we know uh, these are some of the questions some of the queries that we might have and we'll try and clarify those hello everyone i hope everybody is excited to be here and to learn more about blockchain and the upcoming technologies uh, that are supported by blockchain and how blockchain is actually revolutionizing the world right and i i i personally want this session to be very interactive and what i want is that you should be able to ask questions and uh, you know clarify all the doubts that you have so please feel free to write your queries in the chat box and we'll try to answer them i have first question for the audience here uh, how many of you have heard the term blockchain can i have a quick yes and a no in the chat box please or please uh, a show of hands will work thank you gorav yes all right yes if it's a no please do type no as well that would be helpful too okay no in caps okay <laughs> and do we have some more people here okay the response oh, all right really really nice to see how many you know a lot of people they actually know the word blockchain at least that's good so has anybody worked on a blockchain is there uh, somebody who has made some smart contracts or at least uh, you know read about bitcoin ethereum monero or such blockchain is there anybody i think the no okay in progress okay that's nice going on tried all right okay so it's really nice to see some people are actually trying right and uh, what i like to do more is that you know this try should be converted to uh, something that is very very rigid so that you should actually go home today try and build some smart contracts that that would be uh, that would be huge uh, for uh, you know if this lecture, lecture is successful you would be definitely doing that right uh, in the meanwhile while we are waiting uh, for our guest lecturer and they'll join us shortly is the founder of self frame and uh, they'll join, definitely they'll join us uh, shortly what we'll do is in the meanwhile we'll try and interact and i'll like i'll definitely love to know the audience better is there anybody who has made a website or a web app like because you know making a decentralized application on top of blockchain is very similar to uh, building a mobile app or a website so is there anybody who has done this can we have again a quick yes and a no or a show of hands chivesh great gorav gorav seems knowledgeable okay <laughs> and have done that as okay okay that's nice so you guys are actually uh, you know you guys are already ahead of the people that are here then right because you are already doing something in development you are already creating something so that in itself is good that itself is huge right and what i'll do is i'll encourage you more to you know spend some more time doing this you can go ahead and see what are dapps right decentralized applications or what is uh, now I'll, i'll quote some examples here maybe you can go ahead and check that out definitely you can go ahead and check out self frame right one of the blockchains that that exists and or you can go ahead and check out some of the centralized uh, decentralized applications that are built on top of blockchains like uh, you can go ahead and check out awe.com uh, awe.com is something that is really beautiful what you can do is you can uh, you know you can lend and borrow money from there or you can earn interest on your money from our way and that interest is actually more than what anybody of uh, us might be getting in uh, in banks and uh, all those things so cryptocurrency is used in such a way that they can generate interest on top of cryptocurrencies so this is one good application uh, that was uh, that is built on top of blockchain as well as you know you can go ahead check out some of the decentralized applications such as uh, uniswap now what exactly is uniswap i think a lot of uh, people here might uh, might have heard about uh, you know some some decentralized uh, some exchanges like nse bse right so you can definitely go and check out some decentralized exchanges that are built there so a lot of scope for blockchain is there right uh, uh, speaking aside let me welcome uh, a guest here uh, dimitri uh, he is the founder of selframe hi dimitri are you here hello 
Construction elements, so maybe it wasn't some something wasn't finished, uh, but now uh, all things are connected together, and That's we uh, did the refactor. And I want to present the new version of self image decade. Will be the first time when I know I, we ever have any analysis. Here we are announced the third version of our SDK. It's a, uh, it came simpler on our previous webinar. I remember that one uh, student asked that um, uh, he hadn't asked it. He uh, just said that it's uh, too difficult and uh, we have reviewed our SDK and tried to make it simpler. And uh, here today I will try to uh, show you some kind of crash course uh, to enter in our ecosystem. Um, I'm not sure how it will be perfect, uh, but I believe that it uh, allow more people to enter and uh, lower uh, barrier of entrance. It's really right now too high. <clears throat> okay, that's will uh, that's what we'll uh, what we are planning to do, and uh, that that will be in the first part of our today's webinar. And uh, second part will be more practical. I will show you in uh, real time. How we could, um, how we can use uh, different abilities of cell frame ecosystem and maybe write some simpler, simple um, uh, TD app, truly uh, distributed application. Uh, maybe not everything, but at least uh, backbone uh, and some backend. Okay, what we'll do today? Yeah, sure. Uh, uh, you can definitely go ahead. There, are, uh, you know, there are some comments already in the chat box too. Uh, uh, some people are asking about how the situation is there, as well as you know, some people are following YouTube. Please. Uh, sorry, could you repeat uh, the question? Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, uh, what I was saying was that there are some comments in the chat box already. Uh, they are asking about what, how the situation is there, as well as uh, you know, uh, they are looking forward to the lecture too. Uh, so I think I believe we can get started uh, with the presentation, and we'll we'll try and you know clarify about cell frame a lot uh, to the to the audience to be here. Please um, over to you, Dimitri. Go ahead. Okay, great, great. And after uh, after all this, I will try to answer all the question, including mm -hmm. uh, isolation. I I understand you right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We break any isolation. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, really, we had the signature to break any informational, financial isolation, and I am uh, very optimistic with it. Uh, so let me switch on another scene in uh, OBS software, my preferred software, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, to should be the different uh, cam link uh, that goes from my, yes, and goes from my uh, laptop. And uh, we should transfer. Yeah. Great, great. You see the presentation. You see the small me. Yeah. And, uh, and here we go. So um, the cell frame ecosystem introduction. Uh, how to build a truly dedicated application. 
Uh, by the way, uh, usually, you know, uh, you heard about uh, tr just dedicated application, DApp. Here we are talking about truly DApp. In previous webinar, I was talking about uh, what is uh, TDApp and the uh, difference between it. Uh, right now, I will only mention and brief some short thing. Uh, TDApp, it's like a DApp, but without owner. So imagine, for example, Uniswap smart contracts where everyone could get this smart contract and uh, run it and collect its own fee. You know, something like this. Uh, sorry. My apologies. Too many dust in air. <clears throat> okay. So about TDF, mm. how it looks like, how it works. Uh, we'll talk about this a uh, little later. And first, I want to introduce cell frame ecosystem itself, how it looks like. And uh, let's begin from chains architecture. Uh, here is uh, some primitive scheme of the first main net uh, that will be launched in a four days, and uh, what will we consist from? Uh, not all the steps uh, will be run at on the first time, for, for example, uh, mm, at 31st uh, March. Uh, we'll be running it uh, on this part only, oh, sorry, uh, only uh, this uh, cell, cell zero, with uh, main subchain. Uh, plasma, plasma deck, you see on this drawing, we have uh, blocks to connected together in a uh, uh, directed acyclic graph. And uh, this uh, uh, plasma deck will be running later. Uh, what the benefits from this plasma uh, deck? It, uh, it gives a TPS, huge TPS. It gives the ability to process uh, thousands, thousands, and uh, hundreds of thousands uh, uh, transactions per second for one shard. <clears throat> mm, sorry. <clears throat> By the way, uh, maybe uh, if you're familiar with a cell frame, you have heard that we have infinite TPS. Why it's so? Because this cell zero, cell one, cell two, and etc. Uh, they are uh, mostly independent. They have no hubs between them. All the transactions that they have, they prove from uh, their uh, recipients uh, with peer-to-peer -peer atomic swaps <coughs> without hubs. So uh, in these cells, in these cells, uh, all TPS summarizes. <coughs> And as many cells we have, as big a TPS we'll have. Uh, over them, we see a zero chain and support chain and maybe some other, for example, uh, we have a proposal for a red chain. <laughs> uh, but I think we should merge its uh, proposals with a support chain where we blacklist some uh, uh, malicious node or uh, violation of our, uh, violators of our rules. Something like this, like this. <clears throat> uh, but I think to join it with a supper chain, and on supper chain will be some technical, uh, technical information. Let's say so. Uh, for the, for example, results of uh, network governance. Uh, will be, we'll talk about it not now. Uh, and there are chains that holds uh, that produced by root nodes. It's uh, on the beginning will be. A, uh, proof of authority based consensus on the zero chain support chain uh, first year. After the first year, uh, we'll over uh, the emission uh, for master nodes, and uh, after this, we switch on zero chain, produce its own proof of state as well. But first, we sh need to grow cells. <laughs> <clears throat> so that's an uh, intermediate solution here. 
Uh, but it will it will work. Uh, it only one small proof of two parts. The cell null cell one cell two is a proof of state based consensus will have. Uh, main chain will be issued based on Tom consensus. You know Tom uh, consensus invented by a uh, Tom group, uh, led by uh, Pavel Durov, and uh, uh, we have implemented the solution. It was open for implementation. Why not? <clears throat> okay, that's about chain architecture. Uh, by the way, for introduction, <laughs> uh, it was not so necessary. <laughs> uh, necessary, uh, sorry. Uh, it's just a description of uh, what the difference we have from other blockchain. We have really a lot of uh, differences, uh, a lot of uh, our own uh, futures like uh, multi-algorithm, uh, post-quantum signatures, and post-quantum signature itself. <clears throat> uh, and, but for you uh, who maybe want to develop your application based on our uh, blockchain, all this <laughs> is not necessary. Uh, for you, you just send transaction, receive, uh, or receive token, declare a token, run some code, uh, upload some data in chain and you maybe do, you could not care at all but i have to talk about it so sorry and here we'll uh, go to more interesting things and chains uh that you need to know it's a global database uh gdb <clears throat> what is gdb gdb it's a uh, key value storage uh split it by groups uh, you know, you see here could be a group A, group okay, uh, again group A. Imagine that is group B. <laughs> Sorry, uh, group my custom name and etc. And here is a name value, a name value, my name something and etc. <clears throat> it's uh, mm, when you do, uh, when you develop a TD app, uh, usually you uh, develop not something financial. Uh, usually, you develop uh, something that replace uh, cloud services. If you have seen my previous webinar, you should uh, remember that we are <clears throat> uh, not compete with uh, Polkadot or Cosmos or something like this. We compete with uh, Facebook, Amazon, Google, uh, Microsoft, uh, and we uh, focus it on replacing the cloud service on our Fox service. And where in cloud service you use SQL, some relative database, uh, here you uh, should take a GDB, a global, global database. You see it's uh, simpler than uh, SQL. Uh, so uh, here I see uh, some requirement and maybe in the nearest future, maybe somebody, maybe you, will do a SQL uh, dedicated service, dedicated SQL, why not? Um, uh, my, uh, <clears throat> that's a free idea for you. Uh, you, you could do something like this. Uh, but until you haven't do it, did it, we, uh, <clears throat> we have GDB. In GDB, usually you will store your data. Uh, it could be shared between everyone or it could be, uh, private. For example, you have, uh, you, uh, maybe you want to have some centralized part, some, uh, C, uh, CDB, central database. And central database could be consisted from a lot of nodes. Uh, maybe uh, it, could be uh, it could be your private nodes and uh, they could have their private GDB. Okay, maybe I'm going a little forward, uh, but just I want to talk about what we have, chains and GDB. When you develop your TD app and do something Related with blockchains, usually you work with chains or with GDB. That's most important you need to remember from this part. <coughs> and now, <coughs> one moment. <coughs> oh, sorry, it was long days with a lot of meetings. <coughs> For four previous hours, I was talking, 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 talking. <laughs> Okay, uh, no regrets. <clears throat> That's most important that we need to study in our crash course. TD apps architecture, how it looks like. 
uh, please don't be frightened with this uh, diagram. I was trying. <laughs> uh, and uh, here we should start from uh, you. What does it? Uh, what does it mean? All the drawings. Uh, red uh, dotted uh, lines. Uh, it means uh, network connections. So uh, that's network connections with master nodes that bring up mesh network. And uh, in this mesh network, you see a full or light node uh, belongs to customer. <clears throat> here, this relation is uh, ownership. So it's customer here. It's customer of your fork service. It could be a repayment client. It could be SQL client. It could be, I don't know, uh, any uh, video streaming. It could be anything. Uh, I see most most often uh, an easiest uh, way to do something like this is a B two B cloud service. For example, uh, private GitHub with shared encrypt key between all uh, private GitHub members, so it could store all uh, all encrypted data in uh, fog and not to share with your private service with uh, community, but community could provide the, you this uh, service and you could develop it <clears throat> or something like this, or I don't know, any business to business uh, connection. Uh, I don't know, you sell grain or oil <laughs> and connect oil buyers and sales together <laughs> through blockchain, something like this. Because of financial sanctions, why not to pay with cryptocurrency and store oil trading orders in blockchain? Why not? Maybe you could develop such service for oil trading companies. It will be it will be cool, I think. So such business to business, maybe some some small services. It uh, maybe sh it uh, it could mean uh, it's uh, it could mean not some replacement for Facebook. You could not compete with uh, YouTube or Google or OnlyFans. Why not? No, no, you could compete with uh, your some local uh, cloud services that connects real business together, and in, uh, or maybe uh, just uh, not to compete, uh, but uh, just. Uh, find some enterprise solution for blockchain, implement your own blockchain this solution uh, in your local market, something like this. <clears throat> so here, let's return to this uh, screen. Uh, here we return the customer place and uh, in it's interact with uh, Fox services through its own full or light node. Why so? Uh, for example, when you use MetaMask or something like this, you have no own uh, blockchain copy. Ever you have no uh, copy of your own transaction, you should interact with uh, info service or something like this, or bring up your local <coughs> Ethereum node. So uh, here we expect that customer will have its full or light node. Because of two-level sharding that I have shown in Chains page, <clears throat> light node expected to be really light and be runnable on any device ever on cheap phone. <clears throat> so here on the stage full or light node, uh, we see a TDF uh, client plugin. I uh, name it a TDF A. It could be TDF B, TDF uh, my application, TDF uh, my very cool application, TDF my very cool enterprise business client or something like this. <clears throat> there could be a lot of them and uh, they merge in, uh, it could be standalone application. It could be a widgets for our uh, cell frame dashboard. It's our super application and I prefer this way. I like uh, I like uh, super appli application, but that's up to you. What is like, you, could, uh, you can support both. You could have both. Uh, no, any borders or limits with this. And here, this uh, full or light node uh, runs some uh, A client plugin. Uh, this is a cell frame node plugin. Not could have an extension, verified, verified if not. Uh, and this client uh, uh, 
what what it does uh it uh, provides a protocol of your td app and here is a pre protocol implementation <laughs> it has a client part and it has a service part you maybe see uh, in the, you should see in the down part of this uh, diagram master node it has a tdf b service plugin tdf c service plugin or tdf a service plugin and it could have some different sets of these service plugins <clears throat> it's up to note but uh, we'll have some mandatory services that sh uh, must be provided by a master node so uh here customer with its tdf client plugin connects to any master node with a tdf a service plugin you see on this diagram we have two master nodes where we could connect and customer connect it by the way it can connect directly or not directly it could uh, route its connection from other master nodes that provide vpn service for example and uh, uh, on the some late stage we can implement some uh, traffic mixture uh, that's about uh, that were question about isolation here how we can break this isolation in network uh we could mix uh, this road uh, and uh, uh circle it and when it comes out from our other master node on other side of uh, iron curtain nobody could track it so it also way uh, by the way if it goes out it if if it goes out from uh network but if it re will work with internal uh resources no way to track it at all really <clears throat> so it's uh, one of our, our primary goal to move as much cloud services as possible replace as much services as possible <clears throat> and uh, this will be will take them on high demand service um high availability, high availability service uh, by the way it's one of the problem of the fox service to be high available uh it has all case to be available uh problem is on the client side so here we solve it with a integrated node node takes uh cares about uh high availability you see it uh, has a lot of same time connections and it uh, could uh, work in repeatable uh in repeating mode when it repeats all the uh a client protocol but okay let's return to our td apps here <clears throat> what you develop you do, you should uh, you need to develop a client plugin you need to develop service plugin and you need to develop a ui front end it could be web if you prefer web but i not i doesn't i not we are not suggesting a web solution we prefer uh extensions for software and dashboard or it could be a standalone application for both we'll uh, do a special webinar <clears throat> because it really requires to introduce you in a little different thing because uh for example for td app client plugins uh right now we'll show you a python code and suggest you a python sdk when for uh ui we have a uh, javascript and qml uh sdk <clears throat> and c++ of course so that's all for our theoretical parts uh more details you could find on our wiki self and uh after this part we'll switch on this uh, wiki because we i think we need to show some practice how it all looks like okay you have heard me uh you like uh, what i'm talking about now you have a question how to start what should i do okay i will show you how to start and here it is okay here my uh, linux laptop on this laptop we have uh, uh, debian and i suggest you to use uh, debian debian 11 it's a current stable version of the Debian 11. Uh, by the way, Ubuntu also is also is good. Uh, if you have Ubuntu, 
don't worry uh, just be sure that the one of the latest stable ubuntu we have some troubles with uh old uh, ubuntu versions mm. if you have no any linux at all uh use that in uh yes uh we have a way to use um windows or mac OS, and we have a build of a node with it but right now it doesn't support uh, python plugins uh builds with uh builds with uh, python plugins appears uh after mainnet at nearest time maybe on the next week it's really uh, not hard maybe we'll prepare it on the mainnet start because oh really i want to i want a lot of uh i want to build it first at least in windows because we have a lot of windows uh users but I believe that if you are a software developer, you should be familiar with uh, Linux. <laughs> At least you need to have it on a virtual um, on virtual machine. Maybe not not need. Let's say so. Will be good. Will will be good. Maybe you maybe really you are programming. Uh, it's not your primary. <clears throat> primary work uh, it's uh, just your hobby or maybe um, you are a beginner and still haven't learned uh, Linux okay no problem <laughs> we'll prepare you uh, Windows built and Mac OS built as well just a little later okay here we are in a Linux uh, terminal and first we need to install cell frame node where we can find it it's on a pub.selfraven.net. Let's let me enter on it. Pub.selfraven.net. Here you can see um, directories with uh, binary builds. For example, here we can find selframe dashboard. Please ensure that you are downloading the latest version, March 17, dashboard 2.5. And maybe here we have some release candidate. Yes, we have uh, a release. Here you could see release candidate, but it's all, it's no, 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 it's it's wrong. Don't download it. <laughs> Forget what I have said before. Uh, and just download stable version <coughs> of cell frame. Uh, here, 2.5. Okay, uh, here is a Linux. Um, here you could see cell frame node and cell frame dashboard. And dashboard I will download as well. R17. Save file. And here we should also download node release. Uh, it's a release March 27. Release files, uh, see please on uh, data source 6.4, 7.4 will delete it. Is that deprecated? They are older and the latest is uh, release candidate 5.1. By the way, I suggest you to use this version release 5.1 or later because it has a cell frame is decay 3.1. So I should suggest here. Here we have a lot of packages. Uh, if you're not familiar to the, with the Linux uh, naming of those packages, uh, let me detail it. Uh, here's a name, then the version, then the architecture. And this uh, postfix means it has or not has uh, debug symbols. <clears throat> you need DBG only if you have some correction. If you have segfault, if you have correction application and you want to help us uh with quality accounting please install again dbg version uh, uh then do then repeat your action uh coach uh, the segmentation fault and application crash and you will have a, a more detailed um backtrace backtrace maybe member core dumps and please send this core dumps and backtrace to us it will help with the back uh, here it's not only AMD, it's uh, just um, it's for all x86 uh, uh, 64 architectures for Intel as well. 
it's uh, just all Debian naming. We, we should remain it. Uh, by the way, and here you could see ARM64. Yeah, 64. ARM64 and ARM32 uh, HF. It's for Raspberry Pi or uh, Orange Pi or for something like this. <clears throat> yes, it's, we support Raspberry Pi, so we have uh, binary builds for Raspberry Pi. You can install it on your small device, Raspberry Pi, Orange Pi, or any ARM64 or ARM HF. Uh, architecture. <clears throat> so here we take the latest. We here I have AMD 64, and we should download this. Save. We have download everything. Now let's install it. BPTG. I think small lesson. <laughs> For Linux, it was downloaded on Russian language. Yes, I have some uh, non-local directories, and here we install it. Okay, uh, what are the tasks? Uh, let me answer. Out online will be always uh, to start and uh, became online. Um, it's maybe not always useful, <clears throat> but here, uh, what to say? Okay, uh, let us switch through debug mode. Uh, if you switch on true, it will produce a lot of debug information. So if you uh, have no any troubles so or you are uh, not developers, uh, set it false. But if you develop something, maybe useful to use true, but by default, set it on false. It's okay. Accept connections. Uh, it's uh, if uh, do you want to be a master node or not? Right now, I don't want to have be a master node, so I set it false. Uh, server address to listen. If you have, if I don't listen, I could say it anything because it doesn't listen. By the way, it's a bug. It shouldn't ask me. Oh, anyway, here I could say could enter this just for security. Here, okay, enable the core net uh, test net. Uh, just not use the de deprecated. Uh, it's also doesn't matter. Full. Here in testnet, also deprecated. And sub zero, it's current core at T. Uh, let's say true here. Cool. And that is. And here it's uh, working, and we could check it by the system still self free. I, I don't remember. It. it works. Ah, huh. status. Sorry, usually I use uh, system five commands like service. Okay, ignore this. <laughs> That's uh, no problem. Why? Because it cannot. Ah, <laughs> sorry. I have some uh, overload of the uh, my hard drive. Okay, you should not see this uh, trouble. It's my local, so not please not focus on this. Uh, here we can see cell frame node. It's working, and it's working. Um, got it. Okay, okay, and now let's uh, let's see what we can do. This tail can write. Can it save cash balance? You see, it calculates cash balance.
see some troubles with the path. Let me change this. <clears throat> well, let's see here, is everything good? We're leaving global to be. We have power plant. What way to A? What's going on? <laughs> okay. Maybe that's because of uh, SQL driver for GDB. Here I'll do some trick. <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, it's a really scanned version. Maybe uh, uh, if we should take it uh, from uh, our official repository, we'll talk about it a little later. But here, uh, small workaround. Replace SQLite 3 with CatDB. And uh, we should start it again. What we have? Can it? Uh, sorry. Now it looks like it find out. Okay. Yes. Now it works well. <laughs> Great. I have found workaround. So after installation, please open your config file found uh, dep underline uh, global underline db underline driver and replace it with a cdb. Uh, with some issues with uh, SQL backend. Okay, okay, we'll run it and and we stop it. And we stop it. Why we stop it? Because we need to run the plugins. Here we remove uh, this and this and add a true. Why not? Why not? But I think we should uh, extend it a little. Uh, here we have a sources. Um, okay, I think I don't think we should have it here unless here rem rename it with uh, logins. Why not? And here. We'll do such trick. Path to plugins. And here we start most interesting part. Plugins itself. Here I have some uh, ready plugins. And uh, this plugins, uh, plugins was, uh, was for SDK2. SDK2 is located in our master uh, node. And by the way, uh, master branch and soon will be deprecated. But if you're interested in it's available, it could be, by the way, uh, also it could be installed from uh, this, you see. You can have such a repository uh, connected and use from master branch. But if you need, uh, something different like release candidate you need a different version okay here we have a demo and demo client uh you remember maybe maybe not it's uh from here so this a client we have here Okay, everything okay is with video. Uh, just want to be sure. Uh, I see video from my side a little frozen, sorry. Some troubles with video capture. 
Ok. O Little Maid. Some magic. I'm reloading capture. And it's reloaded. Ok, I was talking about this uh, diagram that we have a TDA a client plugin. <coughs> and this plugin here will be developed. Uh, here is two part. First is manifest, some short description. Uh, all this uh, is not important. Dependencies, <laughs> uh, here put everything, with typo. Uh, and uh, uh, here, something like this. And demo client, how it looks like. Uh, here's the old uh, version of this uh, client. Uh, I think we first need to download the newer version. And uh, where we can download it, I will show. SRC. And here we do, by the way, why I am root. See? Uh, just as I see, exit, exit, yes, clone, PS, Undim Labs, Log Frame, Python, so frame and branch release 5.1. So this command will uh, clone this repository. Uh, generally, you don't need to uh, copy it. Stand uh, you need it to build only for standalone application. I am downloaded that just show you examples and use these examples in our as our plugins. Uh, they were changed. So we go here and list examples, we go plugins, and you see a lot of plugins. <laughs> and we delete this all and copy service client, service server. These two examples, yes, these examples. And here, how they name it, demo service client. And here we have demo service service. Yes, yes, now we have everything. So here we could uh, service cell frame node start. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. Let's see what the problem do we have. I have no encodings. Local encoding. Couldn't find platform independent libraries. Prefix. Prefix. Uh, looks like I have now some uh, uh, libraries. What does it use? Uh, cool. <laughs> some problems with it. Ah, expert. It's maybe come about my uh, local encoding, so let me switch it off. You shouldn't have such troubles, I believe. Mm.
Okay, I have a problem with the Python. Okay, let's remove this. Uh, this um, release candidate and return to a more stable version. It's also re replay remote. But still cell frame node. Sorry. So the Kelly Minkowski. Yes, by the way, why it's not moved in the in our <laughs> release candidate. Okay. Okay, not yes, it installed. And uh, here we should take our plugins. Um, and here we need to switch on uh, master. And here we use another examples. You see it differs a little with the prefix. So it's a two SDK. Uh, here in our wiki, I want to show the difference in, the, in these examples. Here you see the 3.0 RC and 2.9. So we got some troubles on the stage, by the way, other developers cannot. So maybe we'll be more lucky than me on, on Ubuntu. I believe it should work in Ubuntu. Guys, tell me that they have checked it on this. <laughs> okay, you need to install Ubuntu. I have a Debian. Okay. Uh, on Debian 2.9 works well. And here you could see documentation of how it works like. And here we have some examples. And now let's try to run it. I don't know. Will it be... Uh, successful or not. Oh, by the way, it's work. It's working already. Really? Okay. And let's uh, run a frame. Clean. Help. Have it loaded them. So, Okay. Ah, it was done by the private. Sorry. Who did it? I don't know. Um, What the private? I don't know. It was sub zero. And the client. 
where it has again you need to enter proper network name <laughs> damn guys why so buggy okay it boss load that you see in process client but service server finally <laughs> okay i hope you pass through all this anyway we have a uh we have development community where uh folks uh, doing all these stages are easier than me they really they install it anyway if you have troubles and in our tg uh on our telegram group chat and we'll help you okay finally i'll run it and i will do replace it with uh, uh execution from <coughs> system d and here we'll see in from the client repeat help you see in the plugins list we have two two things uh by the way uh i want to install one uh, another thing uh, maybe next time and here we can see we can find uh, maybe our new custom comment or maybe not it has no custom comment at all <laughs> okay i need to add another plugin custom cmd just to show this is possible by the way when you develop it better to run it from row uh i mean i mean this way because you will see um a, any uh, any issues with your python code so better run it in a uh, single terminal okay Okay, I have it finally. Finally, I have it. Okay, and uh, custom CMD. It run everything, I hope. And here, oops, cell frame not. A... Oh, by the way, it doesn't require it uh, uh, to this. Okay, uh, demo and demo two. You could see two commands we have and help uh, demo. Demo two. This is demo and testing. Great. Nothing rush, I believe. Uh, no problems. <laughs> don't don't look on this. Don't look up. And here we should have a QT creator, but let me run it from the terminal to prevent it with running uh, QT creator. That is just to run it in the English version. And here we can open here the plugins and start to custom CMD. What do we have in a 2.9 API? Mm. Most in, uh, interesting thing happens in here, in it, uh, in it uh, function. Here we call it uh, run log notice, and you could, I think it's uh, better for you to study how it works just on examples. Uh, nothing complicated if you are familiar with Python code. Here finally we have <laughs> we started to work with Python code, and uh, I see I think this should be not not difficult for you, cause everything is uh, should be interesting. What most important thing was that I want to show here? Uh, here you initiate a service. Here is the service uh this uh it's a service from here uh that's working here service plugin so the service plugin is a service server it's easy it has a few callbacks uh 
uh, related with uh, its uh, logic. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we are uh, right now a little out of time, so I will try to be brief. And uh, here I will just do make some overview of uh, what uh, we have in services. Uh, we have a resp uh, request response with order and receives uh, uh, signatures from both sides. Response if successful if year and uh, next success uh, if we continue current subscription for a service. And custom data if we receive some custom data uh, during all this process. Okay, and in client part, client part we initiate the client, uh, the client, and this uh, service client uh, 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 here. We uh, um, uh, here you see uh, we uh, run uh, client on initialization uh, without command, but better uh, to do this and describe a command. Same as here. Here we see demo demo one second and uh, such uh, description. I will just copy it just to show how it works. And here it finally edit. Okay, and we finally edit. But no space left the device. Oh, damn God. Okay, I'm out uh, space and device. No, uh, just for your understanding. So, this um, <clears throat> command and this connection should happen from this command. So, you enter command, and this then command does this connection. And here also, come back that you have connected, disconnected, uh, service uh, uh, removed. Uh, successful check and etc more details you could find in our on our wiki here uh, there is a service side service client side service uh, custom commands just uh, we can enter see same plugin and description what does it does uh, not so much descriptions <laughs> uh, but there is there are some descriptions uh, okay maybe here Service side service. So here also some description. UI and here and uh, notification. Notification is also an important thing. This uh, more related to is uh, uh, notification in network. It's uh, with GDB. So you could uh, track your uh, changes in GDB, and uh, you maybe remember I could mine this GDB, and for GDB there is also a description somewhere here. Global DB, global DB, GDB. Okay, and get set. That's only two that you need, and one important thing uh, to pin. Well, but we'll talk about pin later. Okay, okay. I think it's enough for uh, current moment, and I think we should switch on your questions. Let me switch it off and stop to bother me. And I believe we'll need only dear and. Uh, now let's uh, go to your questions. If you have it, I hope you have it. And the silence won't answer. Do you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We hear you well. Uh, I think uh, it was quite. Uh, Maybe overwhelming for some of the audience here, uh, but uh, uh, as well as uh, you know, let's see if some some people have question in the in the group. Uh, in the meanwhile, Dimitri, could you share your uh, share some links here uh, of the Telegram group uh, so that the people here can be uh, connected to the community? If you can share those links here in the chat box, that could be great. Uh, 
yes one moment here's a link on uh, telegram group and uh, another link is uh, will be for wiki pages here and uh, that's two most important links uh, that you need also maybe on our sources great uh, so there's a question by yash how much funds uh, do we need uh, or what could you shed some light there how much funds do we need to launch your own chain or your launch your own crypto i believe yes mm. sorry so much funds ah so much funds how much funds yeah uh, how to, to bring up your not yeah okay we need uh, 1000 cells cell okay. is our native token right right any other questions people ah your own crypto sorry it's a different yeah. question if you want to run your token uh uh you need only to pass uh, our verification if you are talking about running per chain you need to collect uh like per chains in polka dot you need to collect uh at least uh, six thousands uh sell uh for three months uh slot lease uh, for two years it will be uh, uh, uh 250 uh, thousand cells uh this number i think will be reduced nearest time but that's for your own power chain because i don't understand the legal question about your own crypto if you want to just run your token it's about yeah, I, I don't know, one hundred dollars, not more, uh, really. And uh, uh, because we have a little different view on blockchain ecosystem, uh, we'll have a manual verification for every token, just to protect from shit coins, from scam tokens. Uh, it will be different from other ecosystem. We'll not alone every token. Uh, every token that will be listed on their chain need to pass verification from uh, network governance. How many cell frame developers have? Uh, we have uh, about uh, 30, maybe 20. Uh, uh, total uh, number of members is uh, 43, uh, but not everyone is developer. Developers are maybe about 20 or 30. Don't remember exactly. On cell frame, mostly uh, everyone work, working on cell frame. About 30 people. But that's not related uh, with our topic. Uh, I prefer questions about uh, what we were, why I was talking before. Uh, how are affected cell frame? Uh, some because we have uh, mostly we are located in Russia, but some of our members have, are uh, from Ukraine or has Ukraine in the region. Uh, as as me personally, I have uh, some Ukrainian roots, uh, and some of my relatives are under bombs or another on other side, so it's terrible. Uh, but it's uh, more personal problems and uh, not. Uh, uh, related with cell frame cell frame continues because cell frame uh, solves uh after after effects after much from uh, war because war it's not only about bombs on ukraine but it's also economical war against uh, russia and i believe it will go not only against russia it became against china and maybe unfortunately against india because india supported russia not uh, joining to anti-russian sanctions so um, right now we are moving from uh, right our capitalization consists mostly from western capital uh right now we are moving more uh, to be focused on russian market and indian market maybe china but within the china market uh, we had they have forbidden uh declined uh cryptocurrencies um 
but uh, in India, as I have heard, it's uh, it's now legalized or something like this. So in Russia as well. So uh, anyway, we'll still be present in Western markets. We are not going left it, uh, and uh, we are preparing a special mechanism to claw a connection between the world, and there will be a bridge between the world. We will do uh, millions and billions holes in this iron cotton 2.0, uh, and I hate barriers, and I believe that every man, every, every man on this earth, every human being uh, has a right on the financial freedom, on informational freedom, and we'll uh, focus all our efforts on these goals. Is that the answer? Okay, I see no question about our current topic. I believe uh, maybe I have overloaded it with this. What will be ideal roadmap for developers to start blockchain developers and also for non-developers? Uh, for non-developers, uh, ideal roadmap should be beginning with a building team that includes developers. Uh, team without developers, uh, I don't think that's a good idea. If you invent some, you should have a tech guy in your group. So not only tech guy, it should be tech guy, marketing guy, uh, some leader, uh, maybe some innovational leader and another um, seven leader or something like this. Uh, should be somebody with uh, funds. By the way, we are granting, we have sell grants uh, and we're giving money for development in our ecosystem. Uh, so, and uh, ideal roadmap should begin from your white paper. You need to describe your idea, your project in document. Okay, how much secure is the blockchain technology? Sir, can you explain most decentralization and cryptography? It's long, it's long story. It should be a dedicated webinar. We talk about this. Uh, secure enough, believe me, secure enough. Uh, how do we pay you in token and where do we buy it from? Uh, right now you can buy it on um, uh, Gate.io, on Uniswap, on BKX, Let Token, uh, Bbox, uh, Pancake Swap, and something else. Uh, there are a lot of smaller exchanges, just Google it. Uh, where can uh, you can buy it? And right now we're thinking about our native exchange, building self and dashboard. Uh, primary goal to build in, uh, be connected with our local payment system, with Rubble, but uh, why not to integrate it with the uh, Indian native financial system? Uh, I think it's a good idea. And after mainnet launch in April or May, we will search for partnership with uh, Indian financial systems, how to connect it with uh, Indian uh, markets. Why not? <clears throat> and uh, same with other countries that uh, looks like our friends. <clears throat> ah, to use the library, how do we pay in your token? <laughs> uh, how to pay? You can have use UI, you could use uh, API, uh, a lot of different ways. For example, you could you can have it. It's running or not? It's running. Help. Takes great. Make transaction. So how you can pay it in our native system? Until you launch, you can use your MetaMask and pay in your C20 on BIP20. Okay. I think you, we should wrap on because uh, really it's uh, general questions, not about uh, development. But anyway, I appreciate that you are interested in our ecosystem and our blockchain, maybe not in development. So, <clears throat> is it possible in blockchain to remove one or more blocks from the network? If yes, how will you have? No, it's impossible. Uh, so, I think we should finish on this. And thank you, thank you for all your questions. I, I hope to see you next time on the, our next uh, webinar. Mm, and on next webinar, I think we need to talk more about UI, not just uh, this uh, 
spiritless uh, terminal uh, just maybe about some uh, some windows buttons inputs uh, blinking lamps and etc uh, yeah, yeah. Hemak will share the socials with you uh, soon. Thank you, thank you, Dimitri, for being here. If you guys have any questions, please join the Telegram group of Selframe, and you can ask uh, the questions there. Thank you, thank you, Dimitri, for being here. Thank you too. Goodbye. Goodbye.